course now, isn't it? Man, God is good. You know, we just try to go do our job and uh, execute, you know, uh, take care of business. How have you personally, do you feel like you've settled in over the last few games? Because initially in the first of the season, you know, there were some moments, but like that happens and you improve and you learn from them. How have you settled in? Man, like I said, man, God is good. You know, I, this is my ninth year. You know, I just got to lean on, lean on my faith and just keep, keep, keep chipping away. You know what I mean? My bad. Yeah. I mean, just that easy. Yeah. Not simple, man. God. <laughs> well, some of it comes with preparation and studying and all that stuff. What, how have you kind of assimilated yourself technically and, I guess, scheme-wise out on the field? Well, you know, man, um, as the weeks go on, you get a little more comfortable. You get more comfortable, and I think that's just what I'm going through right now. I'm just getting more comfortable, and um, I'm just blessed, man. I'm happy to be out here, help help the team win games, and, man, it's love. Yeah. got to ask, on that last pick, came out of the end zone and took, like, did you know where, like, you look like, all right, we got it, now what do I do? Like, give me, give me. Yeah, well, you know, man, um, a natural thing is to get it and go, but, you know, got to be smart. You can't do stupid stuff to hurt the team, so I had to go down. But I should have went down a little bit, give them a little more space, though. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, it was great, man. Obviously, didn't feel like we started the game the way we wanted to, man. I don't feel like the energy was really there. That we wasn't really detailed in what we were doing. And obviously, you know, we gave it the X play on third down, the big play. But other than that, man, I feel like we really settled down, especially in the second half. Guys are battling their butts off. Obviously, we know that's what we're going to do. We're going to battle. But I just think going forward, especially on a short week in Green Bay, we just got to be a little bit tighter on our details. Yeah, with the offense struggling the way they were in the first half, I mean, how much did you guys take it upon yourself to, you know, to keep, keep, keep things in order, I guess? Yeah, man, that's the way we played all year. I mean, we obviously know that, you know, we might not get 30 points, 20-something points. We, we kind of plan it every time, like, no matter what happens, obviously when the fumble happened, when Malik fumbled, we're like, so what? Let's go out there and play ball. And we got a three and out. That was a huge drive for us. I think that might have been the biggest drive on the defense for us during that game. But like I said, we're always going to battle. We're going to keep fighting. But like I said, I just feel like our details can just be a little bit better. How about the final drive? I mean, you know, how were you guys able to keep your composure and keep out of the end zone? Just practicing those situations always in practice, those two-minute drills, looking to the sideline, getting the calls, make sure we're communicating. Um, and obviously, on a couple of those, uh, the last couple of players on those timeouts, we were able to come to the sideline, get some small little details figured out. But like I said, guys just battling out there, man. That's what we do. And we, we want to be the last team or the last phase on the field uh, to go out there and win the game for the team. Help us understand, Kevin, from the outside, like we see you guys are missing X amount of starters before the game, especially up front without Simmons. Right. And then guys like DeMarcus and Mario come in and don't miss a beat. How is that possible? I mean, you guys know that in the locker room. Explain to us, how is that possible? Well, I mean, DeMarcus has been playing all year. It's not like he hasn't played. So all these guys have played. They've been in the defense. So it's not like they're new guys just getting signed on the street, kind of like how T. Mitch did early in the year. They've been here. They've been making plays. Uh, but, you know, Guys go down, another opportunity for another guy. That's the way this league goes. So you got to be happy for a guy that takes advantage of his opportunity. So um, that's just the way we play ball, man. Happy for those guys. They're swarming up there. I mean, six total sacks for the team. That says something, again, without 98 in the middle. No, exactly. It's big time. That's what I'm saying. Guys made some plays. And uh, like you said, I mean, I think I'm happy. I'm happy that our defense has a lot of depth on the front end. So when a guy does go down, uh, you know, we're not just signing the guy off the street because we need somebody. So like I said, man, big ups to those guys for making plays. You mentioned you settled you have... in in that second half, kind of after the lack of energy first half. What specifically did you guys change? What was the difference? Didn't really change too much schematically. It was just like kind of just telling ourselves, like, hey, like we're a little bit dry right now. Uh, forget what the offense doing. You know, they're struggling a little bit. But we have to go out there and play our brand of football. And um, to go out there in the second half and get a stop, that was big for us. So we just had to make sure that, like I said, it was just the details. It wasn't for a lack of effort in the first half. It was just a couple of detailed things. We got to correct it, you know, at halftime and we played better on the second half. You know, Mike, that was just a great job on us showing how much we studied and knew who we were going against. With the offense struggling as they were, I mean, how much were you guys kind of taking it upon yourselves to keep it together until they got caught? Uh, we always preach complimentary football. You, we know if they're slow a little bit, then, hey, we got to pick it up a little bit on our end and vice versa. If we're slow, they'll pick it up on our end. But we're not pointing the fingers. Uh, at the end of the day, we got the win. And we know what to do next week, get ready for Green Bay. Yeah, short week to get ready for Green Bay. How do you guys recover and get ready for that one? Yeah. Hey, man, it's the part, the part of the NFL, man. Everybody's played a, a short week. So, hey, we got to go in, get treatment, get ice, and do everything we need to do and study and get ready for Thursday. You know, when you're brought in, like, you know, as 
the season's going on, you get, I just want to contribute. Right. And games like the last couple have right. happened where you need to play a critical role. Right. What is that like? Man, uh, it's great, man. It feels good. I mean, shoot, this is my eighth season, so I'm kind of used to it. Uh, so just to be sprung out there and go do it, man, I'm, I'm excited. Any way I can help this team win, outside, inside, whatever they need me to do, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Thank you. Man, you got to play ball, man. It's just it's one of those games where, you know, we had to step up and do the small things right. And um, just pretty much get in the pocket and affect the quarterback. That was some of the keys from this week. Yeah. How good was it to see some of these other guys like DeMarcus and all get get in there, get in the backfield and get some pressure on them. It, it, it was good, it was good, you know. Um, it's good to know that we got guys out there on the field that can that can bring the same level of energy and effort to the tank to the table as everybody else. So it was good seeing those guys fly around and make those plays that they made today. All right. Is this how satisfying is this win with four four defensive starters out today? Um it was, it was good. I'm glad we sealed the deal and got the win, got the dub, but it was it was good seeing everybody else step up to make those plays. Uh, I mean, have you seen it before, though? Like in India, I don't feel like you know you had this many injuries you ran through. Nah, it's just uh, it's just uh, the defense that we run and how we run it and how we're coached and how we work on the small things. And every week, it's just about you know affecting the quarterback. And we, you know, just the process of getting ready for games is, is big over here. Six straight game with three sacks or more for this group, and today you got the effort from just about everybody. I know you didn't get in on that, but how how gracious do you? Are you for these other guys? Oh, I feel. I mean, I'm, I'm glad they was able to get their sacks and get make plays too. That's great for those guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. Man, it felt good. You know, able to contain a guy like that and uh, get to him and get him as many times as we did. Um, you know, I've missed a couple plays, but I felt like I, you know, had pretty good effort for the most part. You know, I kept trying to get in the pocket where the quarterback was at, and that's all I could pretty much do.